Welcome back. You may notice that we have a new face next to me. I would like to introduce you to... Well, my name is James or Vector. First time being out on oh, live for Counter Strikes. This is pretty exciting. Yeah, glad to have you here. Well, let me just oh, let me move my mic for a moment. So, how are you? Yeah, um, going pretty well at the moment. Looking forward to see how these matches go. Should be pretty exciting. Just, I, I want to see who can win this one, especially on Cash, one of my favorite maps so far. Okay, no worries. So, let's just get straight into it then. Yeah, so let's jump the match is live. I think the knife round's been finished, so we're going to go right into the pistol round. Yeah, well, we can see just starting off now. So, CT just need to get this early lead here to get the buy round straight up. So, we're going to see if they can do that. We're going to be on board with Echo, who is going to be pushing towards this A site. Looks like Bomb is going towards B for Unnamed. But it does look like it's a standard 2 1 2 split up for the CTs. And it's just going to be a very slow push here. No commitment so far. So, very slow. What do you think about this one? A bit too early to see. Um, we do have one smoke on the terrorist team, so there's going to be a very fast execution. Not sure exactly. Uh, we're gonna be just going to Vibes. Vibes obviously playing, I guess, a support role in this one. Yeah, just pretty much pushing through. We can see also just the decoy now and four pieces of armor for the CT side, so they weren't expecting much for a retake in ways of smoke. We can see two flashes also for Vibes here. Fully stuck, uh, stocked out with everything. So it's just going to be waiting it out. 58 seconds left. Nothing taken so far. No shots fired at all for either side here. Echo going to take the first bit of damage there in the center. And 13 is going to be taken down by Vibes in mid as we take him off. So uh, Five is just going to miss somebody there. He's going to spot two players. He's going to take one before taking out himself. It's now a 2v3 in favor of the CTs here. Looks like they're going to try and push onto this B site. One in checkers right now. And that is Vibes going to be taking a few shots down to 40 HP himself. So now it's very slow. Catalyst down, taking a few shots here. We do have precision onto this B site, trying to get the execution down. Going to be taken down straight away. It's just Vibes by himself. Very low health, taking one before taking down. 37, 37, going to take the first round here on the CT side. Yeah, so Lee Crew, off to a good start, winning an ever crucial pistol round. So, so we're going to have time to introduce the team. Lee Crew, currently undefeated at 2-0 on top of the board, 16-2, 16-2 and 16-2 once, I think, and so far, you know, you know who they are already, Echo, Fasho, Pex, Lee, also known as Dix, and Flab, on unnamed, we have Vibes, Catalyst, Zudex, FYD, as well as Regzi, my favourite player. Yeah, well, we can see that the buys have come out from the CT side. Four Famuses and a UMP. Good amount of flashes and smokes coming out there. Mainly flashes. them. He's just taking out Echo, getting that three-piece straight up, four-piece straight up, all the way, trying to get the ace. Get to get at the end, putting things up, going to cover him as he was down to six HP. But a great round there from the CT side of 13.37. A 4K from Echo, something you don't always see pushing through there on that east side and that A9. And UMP as well, which makes it even more impressive. And that's going to actually give a lot of bank towards Echo. He's going to just pull something in four on the third round. Yeah, well, something great for the team here. Great start. And another Echo straight up trying to push for this fourth round on the T side. Unnamed. Only a few pistols here. Two P250s of Eagle and just locked. Shots going to be taken out from Vibes in the mid there. Teammate is going to be tagged very heavily. Down to 18 HP. That is Zudex in mid. Smoke's going out. We get 13 37. Just waiting with the Famous here. The jump up here. And they have pushed into Vents here. And it is now 4v4. And they are trying to get this execution down on this B side. Just trying to push into here. As we go, there is one pushing in. And that is going can get the first kill. And Catalyst down. And that is a quick round of two dead for the CT side. But now they got to rebuy again, so a little bit of economic damage, not enough to be of any thought whatsoever. So now a full buy coming out from unnamed. Interesting to see that there are going to be all picked up from both teams. Uh, Pex is going to still stay the same with the Famas, and it's going to be interesting to see where FID actually takes the kill. Might be boosted up, and it might be a all on all battle. Looks like Fasher going toward. Oh God, Sardex takes him out with the AK. Uh, Fasher, I think, crossing over towards short and a good quick scope by FYD. He's gonna take down one, also spots out Diggs. Diggs now in trouble, he needs to rush to the smoke and he's rushed to the smoke safely to the other side. But the terrorists know exactly where he is and he's gonna be taken out by Zardex. Zardex on two tracks. Echo gonna be by himself on A side. He's gonna take down one player. I think he takes down Regzi. And all of a sudden it's become a four on two and the terrorists are just gonna be congregating onto the B side. Pex, not with the optimum weapon and side's gonna be mollied off and he's gonna have to come out and take trades he does take down one on catalyst the 
It's going to force it onto one and three. Echo, the last man left standing. They're going to hear him coming in from CT. FID is going to be watching heaven. That grenade's going to tag him just by a bit. He's going to be smoked off, so he needs to push out or save. He, I think he spots Vibe's head. Nice to spot Anzotis, but the only time Anzotis is going to take him out. And that's going to be a clean buy round for unmanned. The Zodex just opening up with the AK frag onto the crossing Orpa. A very, very good quick sh uh, quick shot by FID and suddenly the terrorists snap up mid control. Yeah, well that was a great little push there. That jump up there was by FID, taking out that quick scope and that AK right in the center of that one tap, making sure they won that round. Looks like FID is going to try and do it again. Going to spot somebody maybe at the side. Might have missed him actually on the side of his screen there. Going to spot him this time. Missed the shot onto him in center. Gonna try and throw the nade out, and that is going to tag very slightly down to 58 HP. Looks like it's just an eco now from the CT side. And they're gonna get two quick frags, very quick here. Flag gonna, be gonna spot somebody in B though, and he's gonna get right down in mid here. Very low, before even taking about himself. 3 v 2 Echo very low, however, trying to rotate up highway here. But the bomb is still in mid there. No commitment so far from unnamed. So they're just trying to see if they can get these picks here. They know one's going to be either side here. And they are walking past each other, trying to be very sneaky here. But very low AP. He needs to get the first shots off. Does not get it. And that leaves the A site open. Bomb is going to go over to this A site. It's all down to Peck, who is by himself on this B site. Not looking great with just a 5-7. Orp still up for FYG. Now rotating over to this A site. Like, just gonna try and get any exit frags here, but it's not looking too good for him. Uh, he he does have head armor, so he's probably gonna want to save. I mean, they're gonna be they have enough money in the bank to buy next round. Any money in this situation, especially when you bought up armor, is just you know useful saving, especially if you're not gonna be able to one v three clutch, especially when the bombs on the other side. Definitely not with the five seven here. As you said, the armor is still there, so trying to save that into the next round here. FYD having that orb two rounds in a row, gonna spot somebody and take. Dead, but that is going to be the round to unnamed. Getting the AK, taking that into the next round here. That is something crucial. Jump it out, save it for his teammate here. And now a full buy coming out for this 37 side. Yeah. Um. Look, Lee Crew are not playing mid very well at the moment. They're getting, they're actually getting handled by unnamed at mid. This map's so crucial towards mid control as we're just going on a bit of a technical break. So. Oh, what do you want me to talk about? I can't see anything either. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to see the Terrace once again just snapping up mid control. And why wouldn't they? Mid's been working so well for them so far. And Fasher's going to be trying to bang through smoke. Does manage to tag down Zodex down a bit. But once again, giving up mid control. And they have to. They've been unable to really capitalize on anything. Meanwhile, Flam playing within checkers. He's going to get the first pick, and he's going to fall back immediately towards A site. But they're going to be stacking up towards B site. It might be coming out with the orb. Going to be slow peeking. And he might actually spot out Pex. And he does take down Pex. Good opening frag. This is going to be the opportunity for the terrorist to push in. There is no counter terrorist in the side. And they're going to get the bomb down very shortly. The rest of the counter terrorists now rotating their way around. Yeah, we see one pushing in from A very late. One jump through Vents there, and that is Fasho going to be taken down very quickly before Regzi gets taken down by his teammate. And now Echo with that AWP in heaven. He's trying to push through an AWP on all battle. And Echo going to get a pick straight away. Another one watching just waiting near generator there on the side. Flame is going to go out. Echo going to get another fight. 2v1. Trying to get the quick shot out. And that's going to be the round. Now just the defuse left. Great job by Echo getting those two frags very quickly there. Looking very strong, and that's another round for this CT side. 4-2 up, looking strong with another full buy coming in. Yeah, so that's what they really wanted, but I was on the back of the Echo. Echo getting his first uh, crucial frag, then getting another one on Survive, and then finally landing the final headshot with the USB. So that was pretty much a very well deserved MVP from Echo. That, that was a very, very good play. Yeah, Echo just did a good job peeking from heaven there, knowing somebody would be at the generator there, pushing back on the side at the end here. Looked very strong indeed with those two frags. Now pushing on the quad. We can see Zodex now with the bump up there, trying to get through on the box in the mid, just not being able to get anybody there. They have pushed up highway towards his A side. Bomb is down at the back, not sure where they're going to push through. They have a great mid control right now, so they could go to B through the vent or Z if they want to go there. But now it's just he's going to spot somebody. Vibe's going to be taken down straight away with that banner coming out for uh, 30 37, just pushing through. 
two now at Z flashes out in mid and that's gonna flash the bomb carrier out through. Echo gonna take Zodex out, Catalyst gonna take out Flab in good picks and trades. Uh, Pex gonna take out FYD straight away. Catalyst flashed out, spotted somebody just sitting behind the box, sitting behind the wall there. Gonna take him out straight away. Pex down 3v2. Gonna take out another one, 2v2. Looking strong, that has the B sucked himself. But another one in checkers, that is Fasho trying to push him. Knows he's gonna wait for his teammate there. Gonna spot somebody, gonna take out Catalyst straight away. Now a 1v2 bomb is down, however, so they need to push onto the site. And Regs are gonna take out before Echo gonna take him out and gonna try and get a few guns before he can take out this bomb. 5 2 in favor of 1337, looking strong on that round. Yeah, a bit of a risky. Uh, I honestly believe unnamed. Unnamed are in a tough position there. If Asher took a very, very big risk, actually peeking on a 1 2 scenario, should have waited for Echo to come in and back him up. Not much that the terrorists could really do. They were already. You know, outnumbered, they had to get the bomb down, which is what they did, so they will have some money. But that was a bit of a risky play by Fasho. Lucky that Echo could land that frag towards the end, but it could have gone very, very fast. So, uh, Leaker just need to make sure that they have to tighten up the gameplay, especially against him, like, our name. So, yeah, well, we can see just a few Tech 9s coming out for them right now. It looks like they're trying to commit to A right now. Only one flash for the team and two pieces of armor. The bomb is going to be towards A, and Echo's going to miss them all. Going to take one frag. Knows a few more around there. Going to take a second and a third. Going to try and get the last one. It's going to be taken out at the end there. Five's getting a 2 headshot with now the AWP, a 2v1. Great little eco there, making sure economic damage is sustained to 1337 right now. By himself, does have bomb in hand, or sure, I should say out in hand, hand don't know where it is. And it looks like the CT side are just gonna watch it right now. Not gonna move at all, and it's now down to unnamed if he wants to go into this one. Yeah, so Dylan, I'm not sure what his slow presses are. Flab might be pushing in shortly. That's gonna be a pop flash. Vibe's gonna move away immediately. And he, he, he knows the player's in short, and he spotted, I believe, the leg of the player. Flab's gonna be rotating towards Catwalk, but I think uh, Pex is in the right position with the M4 just sitting there the entire time. We'll pick off Vibes. They'll be able to recover the AWP as well, just in time, and they're gonna give it back towards Echo. Echo being very effective with the AWP, getting the three frag, unable to land the headshot with the Peter 50, but this is gonna be allow, this is gonna allow unnamed to die off again. Yeah, well, Echo got that three play the last round there, looking very strong at quad there, even though it wasn't Echo looking strong, and a full buy coming out for this terror squad there. Full nades, besides vibes, it only has the one smoke there, which is a bit unfortunate, but looking still strong, AWP just pushing through there. Uh, shots out, none connecting, however, and you can see just the CT side just waiting a straight 2 1 2 push there. Zodok's gonna get uh, the first frag onto 1337 in mid. Regs are gonna be waiting in A main just to see how he goes. They are trying to push through this A main so they can take this A site. And it looks like one is in quad just waiting for them with that AWP. Definitely Echo waiting across there. And we can see just the rotations coming out, trying to push through. And the peak is going to come out. Echo going to get a frag straight onto the FYP. Sitting there trying to peek out with that AWP not being able to connect. And it was just not what they needed. Echo getting a second onto Vibe. And now they've got to rethink if they want to go through. Just A that or rotate under B. They've lost Bomb. Yeah. Oh. Bomb's going to shot uh, Rex, Rex, he poked out. Maybe uh, possibly just a bit too late. But Pex is going to come through. Good M4 frag onto Catalyst. And Zodix is going to get flanked by Flab. And that's been communicated, and Rex is the last man left standing. Once again, the last man's not down. And we do have Pex pushing through, and he's spotted out Rexy. And it's just a matter of time, I think. All the counters are going to be trying to hunt down Rexy. Rexy is just dancing around forklift, and he's going to take down one, but going to be cleaned up by Flab. Yeah, it's a good little uh, kill there, but not enough. Still two alive for that CD side. 7 2 now is the scoreline. We can see Echo 16 kills, only 5 deaths, looking very strong for the team here. No AWP for the CT side, and only pistols for the T side, so none of those long range weapons coming out. All rifles for them, 1 AK and 4 M4s. Good amount of uh, smokes and flashes for the CT side. Only 2 smokes and the 1 flash which was just thrown out by FYD. Trying to pop flash in, it's going to be taken out by Pex straight away. Pex getting another one, Flab getting a third for the team there. Going to spot one in checkers, uh, Zadok's going to take out Flab. But now it's just the one in checkers and B main not looking too strong. And that is going to be a quick cleanup for this CT side. 8 2 is the scoreline. But now it could be a buy, and there's going to be a full buy AWP coming out for this CT side. Uh, has the AWP been dropped somewhere? 
Must have been dropped because yeah, they didn't buy it. Yeah, it's been dropped straight away. And so we can see another full buy round coming out for Unnamed. As you said earlier, they are in a tricky situation right now. Just not being able to get any rounds whatsoever. And 1337 just pushing through this mid every single time. Through this time in mid, it's going to be taken out. And that is going to be flabbed. Trying to get the jump up right now. And there is one player up there. And that is Unnamed before being taken down by FYD. Just trying to bump up there. Not coming out. And he's going to spot another player there. Flab going to take him out before taking down himself by five. Just not looking too good for the CT side and mid. Have never looked strong how they have been able to hold these A side and B side with one of them move down so far. Many techs sitting on B side. The bomb's orientating its way towards B. There is Regzi playing flank. He's going to be falling back. And that Molotov is going to bounce directly onto Tex. Tex will take down one. Tex nearly takes down Harry as well. But that's the bomb going towards B side. Echo and Fasho, the two brothers, stuck on A site now, rotating one through vent, possibly one through heaven. Rexy playing flank, gonna be picked off by Fasho, and all of a sudden it's a two on two. Hell is so low, he's gonna be trying to pick him out. Ah, Fasho gets the uh, second frag, and will clean up as well. Good double pick there, five to one in a really awkward situation, and that is your three bags for Fasho. Yeah, looked very strong there, Fasho putting, pushing through mid, not getting that flash a bit unfortunate, but then picking up straight away as he dropped down through vents there, looking strong for his team. His 1337 squad looking so strong on their CT side, not getting much mid control which is a bit unfortunate. They could be maybe 10-1 up if they had a bit more mid controls. So they've lost a few frags, key frags, I should say, through that mid. They need to work on that for next time. But we can see it's just an unnamed squad just not taking advantage of this uh, loss of mid control early. You can see three already towards this mid for this unnamed side. That is Zadek now flashed to jump down in mid. Five's going to get the first frag. Shot's going out. Regs are going to get another one, and another one on Fox on Highway. Fasho going to take it out before we take it out of myself. Now a 2 3 4 putting up, trying to go up Highway, then faking back here. It's just not looking too strong for this CT side, especially on this round. Hex leaving B side. Echo only has a P215 arm. I'm not sure why he doesn't have a rifle. Hex now peak, uh, pushing through Z. Spots out Zardex. Zardex takes him out, and all of a sudden, it's the last man left. Hex and Echo at... Uh, at Truck now, gonna be slowly making his way down. I think Zardex is hurting. And he's gonna be pushing through a smoke. Zardex has a grenade at the wrong time. He's Echo will pick up one gun for himself, and, but Vibes will get straight in. And that's gonna be his third round on the board for Unnamed. The first round in a long time. Yeah, well, this place, but the, uh, they're still a bit of money to buy. They wanna force up uh, 1337, which is down with a few pistols here. Head armor coming out for 1337 there. And armor out for a few more, just pistols. So seeing Small little eco, not too much. They do have enough to buy next round, but a full buy coming out for unnamed here. So for them, they're just looking for a cleanup here. You can see just FYD trying to push on this A site. They want to take this quickly. No more fussing around in mid. It's going to take out Echo straight away. Bomb is on this A site. Now it's a retake situation. Catalyst getting a 2 piece straight away on the mid. He's all taking down himself all down to 1337, who is back in mid. Gonna go up to the highway here, but it just looks like the search party is coming out for him. He's gonna be taking out one, down to 5 HP, though. too strong for him. He's gonna try and... He might try and save this one for the next round here, but he's gonna run into Zodic straight away here. Another round for unnamed here. Looking a bit stronger every single round here, making sure not to push through mid. Even though they have that control, they just have not been able to take advantage of it at all this entire match. So that A push was very strong for them. There's that pop flash coming out from FYD and the smoke coming out for the team. Looks strong for them. Looks like they're gonna try and push again through mid. Not looking as strong, but now they're gonna try and push through this B. Sorry, I should say A side it might look stronger for them now as they go through. So mid's actually been left open by the counter terrorists, which isn't a bad decision considering they're going another eco. Catalyst will get the first flag, the frag onto Flab, onto, I think it was Checkers. And Hex is also within Checkers, so I'm not, I don't think, no, he's not in Checkers, sorry, he's just outside. But the terrorists are making their way towards B. Hex, half flash, but he's gonna be taken out from Checkers. No, he's taken out by Catalyst. The so Catalyst gets the second flag of the round. Ah, uh, Diggs actually blocked up one of the terrorists and he comes down and takes that FYD. Uh, Catalyst will get the third frag of the round. Fasho, meanwhile, may, uh, pushing through mid once again. Gonna get another frag, but Vyze and Rexy are gonna team up. And cleaning out the two brothers. And Catalyst really just opening up the rounds. And suddenly, Unnamed getting five rounds on the board, which is quite good to take. 
Yeah, well, I was about to say that the uh, bomb there, as we saw, Jake's just waiting in the smoke there. Did get a bit of info for his team as the bomb went down. He did kill the bomb carrier. So the rotation did come in pretty early. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do much economic damage to the team. Now, full buys for both teams. Not as many smokes and flashes, however, for the CT side. Full smokes and flashes. And Catalyst going to take it out with the return coming in. 1337 going to take out. Uh, that is Jegs, so getting that name mixed up all the time. As we see, just pushing his digs. Getting it mixed up all the time here. As we push through, it's now a 4v3. Zadix down to 20 HP. Vibes 92. Regs 89. No full health at all for this T side. Full health for the CTs, however. And we are going to be, uh, just jumping in and out of the game. As we can see, no more frags. 5 is going to take a bit of damage, though, as we can see. And now we have three in highway for the CT. One waiting for the back in the quad there. It looks like Bomb is in A main, so they have picked where the Bomb is going to go. One now at Fortler. Reg knows exactly, know, exactly where he is there. Trying to jump up in the box there. Not going to spot him as he does push back. But now they're going to have to execute here 42 seconds. Bit of time to play with the, with the players that have the resources that you should try and execute here. And Echo going to get a great two piece there. Zadok's going to take him out. He is the last man alive here. Going to spot somebody before being flanked. And that is the half there. 10 5 to 13 37. Looks strong, those two, uh, two economic. Okay. Yeah. Two economic rounds there weren't too good for them, not doing too much economic damage. But coming back in that last round, 10 5 your scoreline. Now it's all up to them on this T side. Yeah, this is going to be a true test for Lee Crew. Let's see what they've got execution based. Cage being such a heavily execution based map, you're going to see what strategy they come up with. I mean, unnamed is definitely a very sharp picks. And it's just going to be a hard rush. I'm going to be the only man with the smoke. So it might be a very, very hard A take. It looks like it's going to be three towards Squeaky. One boosted up mid and one A main. So it's going to be more of a kind of mid stack at the moment. Hadler is going to be smoked off. He does have a molly, so he's going to molly off close. Regzi gets the first frag. Going to be traded out by Fasho. Hadler is going to be taken out by Fasho. Do have Diggs who's gonna be oh good shot by Vibes. Meanwhile, FYD Ash shot binked in the head, but will make a, uh, be able to take a frag himself. Oh Vibes pushing in through highway. It's gonna get another one, and all of a sudden it's Pex left on his own and Vibes with the block will clean up. And Vibes getting three frags that round is gonna be happy with that. Yeah, well definitely that stack went to B actually from the CT side, so I was a bit uh, afraid that they weren't able to rotate in time enough to retake the site, but they were just able to run up highway there. It was vibes we got that fire straight away, and then rotating back to the truck just looked stronger and stronger. So now, it's now a full buy, or a almost full buy coming out for this CT side. Just all Tech 9s coming out from this T side, and it looks like they are going to try and take this A side again. One lurk heading towards B. Yeah, it looks good. They've actually bought up armor and smoke, so they are taking this round very seriously. They have money from the buy. Only person not buying armor is Echo. There's going to be smokes coming out to quad and a site right about now. And they're going to be entering the site. Regzi going to be in a bit of trouble here as he's holding by himself. Echo is going to be boosted up. Hex is going to take down Catalyst at truck. And Regzi is going to take down Echo. He needs to be careful of the terrorist above him. Back and drops down. Going to take down Regzi and suddenly there's nothing. Onto A site, FYD with the M4 is gonna take down one tag heavily down Pex, spray through with the Tech 9, will take him down through smoke, and all of a sudden it's a two on three with the bomb plan. Fasho very low, the two counter terrorists pushing in through truck from CT now. They're pushing in, Zodex with a P9, he's gonna take down Fasho. Vibes gonna be checking corner, Zodex gets the second, oh, Diggs getting another frag with the Tech 9, and Zodex is pushing in and will get his third frag. That's a huge play by Zodex. He's going to be a 96 HP. He's going to be happy with that play. He's going to get the defuse, but that's well played by the Terrace as well. Getting another bomb plan down. That's another 500 in the bank and taking so many guns off the counter terrorists. Yeah, well, that was very good by them. Just not doing a whole bunch of economic damage there. Now, only a little buy there, so no orbs can be bought uh, for the T, or sorry, CT side, I should say. That I think the T side should be, even though they lost the round, pretty happy with that because now they can fall by their two bomb plants coming out. So looking like the, uh, we got uh, Regs just sitting there, only with the Tech 9 there, waiting around. So he's the only one not buying the rifle there with the Fasho, just waiting to see where they want to push through. With smokes coming out, trying to get any spots for his team there. Not going to spot anybody with Z, trying to get boosted by Flap. Echo going to get the first frag onto Five as he comes through. Trying to spot somebody else, heading up highway. 
only slightly. No, my mistake. Not going to tag him at all. Going to tag himself down to 62 HP. Looks like they are going to try and push through this A main. And there is one waiting over on this quad area. And another one at Forklift. That is Catalyst and his teammate. Just waiting through. See if he comes through. Catalyst going to get the pick on to 2 piece For himself onto Echo and Pet. Another one A main, they know that they're going to be executing there now. It's a two and uh, two in mid and two in A main, but the flag is coming out. Flag with his knife out at the wrong time. Vibe's going to take that A2 team all down to Fasho. Coming up highway doesn't look as strong for him. And now if they lose this one, can't do any economic damage. It's back on an eco for them. Watch Fasso, he's spotted out Catalyst. I think Catalyst has spotted him out as well. He takes him out of the headshot, but Regzi peeks out from you know, quad, near quad position. Very, very, I don't know what that corner is called, but he peeks out, will take him out. And that's going to be the first CT round on the buy round. So the terrorist really just executing too fast. Well played by Catalyst to get the two frags and just stop the rush. Yeah, well, it was a great little thing from CT. That flank coming in from Vibes, getting that two-piece bomb down in A main was the key factor there. They were going to try and rotate back to B as they had one in mid, and it looks like another eco. Oh, for my them. God, and that nade chunk. Oh, my God. Getting everyone. Vibes getting the three one with the flame, and it's all down to him. He's down to 12 HP, but it doesn't matter. Vibes going to get five before being taken out himself. It's all down to the last one to get to and he's just sitting in checkers by himself. Vibe getting the 4k there. Looking strong with that M4. Haven't seen somebody do that for a while since the UMP second round of this game. No, that was an absolutely disgusting nade. It did, two, it did 289 damage. Uh, I, think Vi I think Dylan's going to advise Dylan, should I say. It's going to be a bit mad that he couldn't actually get the ace, but a 4k and a successfully hold off denying the bomb plant, he's going to be more than happy with that. And FID is going to get the opening frag with the orb. Meanwhile, Peck's going to be pushing through Squeaky Rex. He's trying to play a bit aggressive that time. It's not going to really work out in the favor. And all of a sudden, the turret's actually... Dig's going to get to get the frag onto Vibes. They suddenly got B control. And all of a sudden, it's a bit of a disaster for the counter-terrorist. Two stuck within mid. And we do have Diggs having control of Heaven and CT. We have uh, Pex having control of the flank. And we have the bomb, site, uh, bomb plant going down very shortly. So they're going to be picking out. Exactly I'm not exactly sure exactly what the counter-terrorists are doing. It looks like they're going to be saving. Yeah, they're just going to save here. We can see that Reg is just going to be waiting for somebody who is in the CT spawn there. And it is going to be the first round for... 1337 for this half actually. It was a great little comeback there. Four rounds in a row. And FYG is going to take one out. Zadok's going to take another one out. This is Doc on as well. The saves not coming out all for the terrorist squad. Just not be able to save any of their weapons right now. Zadok is going to be taken out himself. So they are going to take the AWP and an M4 on the CT side and on the T side. An AK and an AWP going to be taken in there. Both teams saving two players. And it's what they needed right there. They needed the uh, money to come out. And Zodex, I don't know what he's, he's got the M4 now. I was, I was afraid he didn't buy anything at that one stage. So he didn't have enough much money as his teammates there. And it looks like Fasho is going to try and get the jump up onto the crate here. Try and spot anybody above the smoke there. There is one player at the fence. Just playing We can see Echo now pushing through towards his B site. Smoke is going to come out for them. And it looks like it's a 2 2 1 split for the T site. Bomb is in mid, heading towards the A main there. He's going to be. Just trying to see if he can push anywhere. There is two in highway for the CT side. It is going to be a slow push that looks towards A, but no executions yet. Only a minute eight left on the clock, and FYD is going to get the first frag for this round. Yeah, I think he takes a pick onto Diggs, who was, I think Diggs was boosted up, and that suddenly just opened up the map really for the counter terrorists. They have two towards mid, and they really need to uh, make an execution now. They're going to, looks like they're tending towards A site. But Fasho is still playing flank. I'm not sure if I'm happy about this. He does jump across. He's been spotted out. Luckily not to be tagged by the orb. Meanwhile, Pex is going to open this up. Spot, uh, sp opens up Squeaky. Spots Catalyst through the smoke. Catalyst, once again, doing a lot of damage. Catalyst still staying alive and falling back to the A site. Rakes from quad. Takes down two. And the rest of the terrorists are going to be pushing him. Rakes is going to die. But they've lost bomb at truck. Meanwhile, FYD from... Truck, I think? Yeah, from truck takes down another one. Fasho, the last man left standing. And he's going to be taken out by FYD. FYD picking out himself a nice 3K. Very well played. And 
all of a sudden it's it's dead even. Yeah, it's now back to 10 11. Now 13 37, that lead they had from CT not holding up at the moment. They've lost five out of six rounds this half here. They need to make something happen here. And there's another eco for them. So it could be 11 11 very quickly all the way back to square again with only a few rounds left in this game here. Could be very close here. Gonna go right down to the wire here. Full wire coming out for the CT side. So they it's just need they just need to push through and get as many frags as they can on this A side here. Looks like Flav is gonna be pushing out with his teammate here. Cattle's gonna take him out. And two piece there with the headshot. Very quick. Peck's gonna get the frag. But uh, three down, four down now for the T side. It's all up to Peck by himself. They're gonna take out one before taking out himself. They needed more frags on that one to get the money. But they are going to be able to fall by. It would have been nice to have a little bit more money there. Going to be broken if they want to force up here. AK is coming out, but not what they needed right here. Uh, just correcting on that one, they didn't want to force their way onto A site on that one. They actually uh, they actually put the bomb towards B site. They're hoping they'll be able to draw the attention of the counter terrorists away from B site so they get the bomb plant down. Uh, vibes was there and it's not the bomb plant. So. Yeah, it would have been pretty good if they went through. They, as you did say, they didn't take through. It would have been nice to get a few more frags on that one. Just to break a bit of the economy for the CT side as they are now dead even. Not many smokes and flashes out for the T side. It's not looking too good for them. They need to make this execution happen with what they have. A whole bunch of nays coming out for the CT side. A whole bunch left in the bank. And we can see Pex just waiting and squeaky just to see how he pushes through. Wait and see if anybody pushes him. Nobody moving at the moment. Pretty much a stalemate for this first 30 seconds here. A minute left on the clock here. Still a whole bunch of time to rotate from both. But Bomb is in A main. Uh, and we have Reg just waiting in mid. And Flav going to be the first to push on site. Going to spot somebody with the orb. And going to be taken down with the turn. Three kills. Sorry, three frags from each team. Now A2, B2. Bomb is on the A site. Both coming up and rotating back through truck here. It's now a 2v2 situation with the bomb down. Yeah, so we're going to see the counter terrorists making their way up. Zydex is going to pick catwalk. That's taken now by Pex. Pex is going to be traded out all the time up to Diggs. ID has the HP advantage. And Diggs, unfortunately, is very low. The flashbang is going to Diggs. is just dancing around playing this very smart. FID is going to fake once again, and he's going to take him out as well. I'm not sure if he's got enough time. I don't have Diggs. I do believe he has enough time. Very well played by FID. Just tap, tapping on that bomb, knowing the enemy was very, very low thanks to his teammates. And that's going to be another clutch going in the favor of Unnamed. They're going to be pulling out 12-11 ahead now. Yeah, first time they've been in the lead this entire game. They lost this round at the start, so always down straight away. But looking strong on this CT side. Haven't looked back. Seven out of eight rounds so far. Look strong all the way. And now having full buys again. Never lo losing economic... Uh, never having any economic troubles here. And Flav going to push through. Reg is going to take him out straight away. Just again, another Eco. Not looking strong. Echo going to take out Vibe straight away. And they're going to push onto this B site. They have it straight away. Picking up a few nades. Bomb is going to go down. Reg is going to take out Pex as they push through. Two in vents. Trying to see how they go. And it's all down to Regs watching this vents. There's going to be two busting through vent right now. Regs is going to come down, get instantly taken out. He also spots out Catalyst and Dix in a very good position. Catalyst is going to be taking out Basho, and all of a sudden it's up to uh, Dix who's just stuck on the wrong side of the bomb. Three counter terrorists on the bomb. He's just going to try and save that armor. No, he should not be peeking. He does manage to tag down Catalyst very low, but he manages to save him. Because the bomb, when the bomb plans disappears, you don't lose money if you save the gun, so... It's better to save the tech and the armor than to lose both of it. That's a 1500 investment, and he does manage to pick up the orb, so... Yeah, well, we can see for the first time in a few rounds, it's a full buy coming out for 1337. Four AKs and an orb coming out. And it looks like orb isn't going to be boosted up. Going to spot somebody through just before smoke goes down. Not going to connect with him. It looks like the orb is going to go towards this A site. They are going to try and push towards it, making commitments through. Smoke is out. Just trying to push through quad. There is no one there waiting behind the site here. And they're just going to wait to see. And that is Regzi looking through to Squeaky. He has four enemies in front of him, not knowing how many there is. He's going to spot somebody in A main there. Spotted himself. And Nades are going to come out. Down to 28 HP there. Going to try and pick out Flab. Going to take him out quickly. And Catalyst going to take out. Really Flab and Peck straight away. Going to see another. Going to be taken out himself. 3v3. Now Bomb is going down in the safe spot of A. It's now a retake for Unnamed. 
Basho, meanwhile, from Quad, I think, takes down, uh, from A site itself, takes down another one. FID tries to land the headshot onto Echo, but Echo's gonna clean up. And that's the first round won by the terrorists in a long time. That's the second round they've won in this half. That will break the bank of the counter terrorists by a bit, but the counter terrorists will be able to buy up, I think, for one more round. M4 is being dropped all around. They will be able to fall the AWP once again, but that really. That really depended on regs. Regs was unable to make a trade. The terrorists just came in too close. The information was relayed too late. And all of a sudden, you know, it's still break it's still at a break next score. Yeah, well if, if we see 1337 win one more, it's gonna be an eco thing out for this side of unnamed. So they need to be careful in this one. They need this round if they want to stay off the eco. And you can see just mollies and uh, nades just coming out through checkers here and bomb is just small checkers there they're not trying to push through and uh, that is Zadek just waiting around and FYG is going to take out Flab straight away bomb is down that's going to be relay and if we can see the rotation up the top we can see they're pushing in from A Fasha going to take out Zadek's in mid going to miss the shot is FYG going to be peeking out bomb is going to be taken back and they are going to try and rotate back if possible to this A site so they're rotating back right now. They just be careful of the flanks. So this is going to chew up a bit more time. But the counter terrorists might need to rotate soon. They've still got uh, counter terrorists holding. Might so they're going to be boosting up Fasho. Not sure if this is a smart decision with the orb. Catalyst is going to be picking up through Z. He's actually uh, they've both been spawning out each other. Fasho is going to be jumping down. Vibes very low. The bombs made his way towards A side. All of a sudden, Rex is holding a very long line. Spots that Echo. Oh, good M4 shot. We'll take that Echo. Meanwhile, Catalyst within Z will be taken out by Fasho. And Rex Z, man, only man left standing. Fasho is going to slowly try to push it and try to take him out. Oh, Rex Z with another M4 headshot. All, man, all of a sudden, it's all up to fish with the wrong gun. He misses the shot, unsurvives, and that's a crucial oh, round unnamed. That's a crucial round unnamed needed. Now 14-12 up with this defuse here. They wanted to win that round. They would stay off the eco, and they have done that right now. So now it's all up to them. Small buy is going to be coming from, the, I should say, a full buy. If that was correctly. To the T-side, another AWP coming out. Poor Fasho. Just going to be seeing pretty much full AKs coming this out. This is very interesting. Two so AWPs AWP. on the terrorist team. This is high risk, high reward. They need this round. It. So one AWP is going to be boosted up. Other AWP is going towards the B side. Meanwhile, FID, he can only be watching one line. He's watching the boost. But uh, no, they're actually not going to boost the AWP up. They're just going to be walking away with the AWP and taking A side control. Dig's going to be just tagged from truck by Regsy with the M4. Grenade's not going to do much damage. Just stopping them from pushing further in. Catalyst's going to get the first frag with the M4 onto Echo through Squeaky. And the Terra's going to be slowly pushing in now. Flab going to be trying to get a frag with the Tech 9. Notice Catalyst moving over. Catalyst now dancing with Tech... Uh, dancing against Pex. Pex takes down Rexy. Uh, Flab with his Tech 9 will take down Catalyst. And all of a sudden, it's... Oh, digs with two frags quickly. And all of a sudden, it's become the favor of Leet Crew. Vibes the last man left standing. Bomb plan gone down. 35 seconds left on the timer. Oh, Diggs tries to peek out. Tags Vibes through the barrel. All of a sudden, it's a one-on-one. Flab's peeking out and takes down Vibes. Vibes throwing the Molotov. Might not have been the smartest decision. And the Terrace will be able to grab one AWP, but they're in a very, very poor economical situation. But so are the counter terrorists forced onto an eco round. Yeah, well now it's going to be, if the uh, if they can push through 1337, they just need to make sure they can do it. They forced up with this AK, so if they lose this round, it's going to be uh, very, very bad for their economy. And almost certainly the game, if they can't push through on this eco, and we can see just Rex winging it out, trying to flash up everybody pushes him, and somebody is waiting in B, and it's a full big push for this CT side. They're trying to rotate over, and the bomb is still in A main. They're trying to see how they push through, and it's they pushed a bit late. They had a whole site to themselves for at least 15 seconds, and now the rotation's coming out. Four coming onto site for this CT squad. Pex going to take out one, Rex is going to take out Echo. Pex going to take out a second on Rex, pushing onto the site very aggressively. And as Catalyst going to take out one, Fasho is going to take out him. And now it's a 3v2, He's done a bit of economic damage so far. And now it's down to Regs and Zadex. Just going to take out one. They're going to know where he is. And now he's just going to take it out. And that's 14-14. Pushing through. Now going to have a full buy pushing in this next round. Yeah, so looks like Terrorist going to have to force up once again. 
Diggs has a lot of money after saving the other safety orb, but so far the counter terrorists are gonna have to force up. They know it's do or die right now. There is no overtime, so it is do or die for them right now. They they really need this victory. Yeah, Otherwise, maybe. I think they're going to be eliminated out of the group stages. So, yeah. FYD is actually pushing very aggressively in. He's made his way, and but he's completely blinded. And Fasho from TDCon is going to take him down. Meanwhile, Pex is going to spot out Catalyst. Catalyst in a very bad position. Takes down Flab, but Regs is uh, in the man with an A-side. Really pulled this off. Pex coming in now. But he spots out one. He uh, Echo's kind of blocked up by his teammate Zodex. The nade catches Pex right out. I'm a bit surprised Echo's going to manage to spot out Zodex. Zodex still on Catwalk. Dancing around, doing a lot of damage, and Diggs, the last man left, oh no, sorry, the second uh, last man standing, and Fasho is going to come from behind, take down five, and all of a sudden, the dream is over for Unnamed, League is to 15th uh, round, that's not going to matter for Unnamed, they're out of the group stages, unless Ascension loses. Yeah, well, this is not what they needed. They needed to win that round, and we can see just a force up from them. We've got a scout and pistols, MP7 coming out, but just not too strong for them. We can see an, a full buy coming in from this terrorist squad. Minus Pex, who does not have the nades of his teammates. You can see they're just waiting around, and a push in from the CP side in mid. Push up to the highway now. Aggressive push, and I think that's FYD. Trying to push through mid, and backing out in the last few seconds there. And it's just going to be pretty aggressive in the CT side, pushing into A main. We can see Flood take out one before Catalyst takes him out, pushing through A main, taking that AK 4v4, and now Bomb is still way towards that uh, B side at the moment. And Zardis just dancing in the smoke at the moment. Surrounded by two terrorists, but the terrorists are going to be falling back towards mid. FYD gets taken out, trying to play aggressive once again at mid. Uh, it's not going to work in that favor, and the terrorists just now scattering around, possibly going towards A side. The bomb is orientating themselves towards A side. The catalyst going to have to try to hold this off with an AK-47 and a CZ. He does have a kit, however. Uh, two counter terrorists have kits, so it's not game over just yet. Oh, Vibes gets the shot onto Fasho. Uh, catalyst going to peek out, but they know exactly where his location is now. Vibes going to try and draw as much attention as away as possible. Peck gonna try pushing in. Spots out Diggs. Lands the AK spray onto Diggs. Takes him out. Pex does manage to make the trade in the end. Echo very low. The 5 7. Whips out the 5 7. Takes him out. Pex the last man standing. Plants the bomb down. And he's gonna be walking towards Zardex. He spots out the head. Tags him down very low, but he manages to escape. He pulls out the Glock. He chucks the Glock out, pretending it's a flashbang. But Vibes just on top and takes him out the AK. That's giving a draw 15 4. What a little. What a round there. At the last second there. Just pulling out that AK. Because Vibes just waiting it out for the CT side, making it 15-15. And that's going to be the game. Look strong. And as you said, this could see them out of the group stage if they... We have to see. We'll have to wait and see for the next match how they go. But a great match overall. CT side looked very strong for 30-37 crew. But their T side just needed a little bit of work. So just not looking as good for them. And that's going to be the game. Yeah. Yeah, just... That was intense. Strange last round there. Just on the eco, then picking up two AKs, making sure to uh, just win the round for them. Now, that was very, very intense. Um, Finally, it worked out in the favor of... It actually worked out in the favor of unnamed. Unfortunately, just not able to get the rounds towards the end close enough. I'm not sure what the score is exactly in the Ascension versus on point. I'm not sure if we have the challenge board up. So it looks like Ascension did defeat on point 16-13. Uh, very, very close game. Uh, Lee Crew have tied with Unnamed. So I think in the end, the standings will be Lee Crew on top. Two wins, one draw. Uh, Ascension following them with two victories, one defeat. Um, unnamed with two losses. Two losses and... No, no, sorry. One win, one draw, one loss. And on point with three losses. But very well played by on point, you know. Getting, uh, getting taken out very early on, but, you know, coming back and taking, you know, rounds off two very good teams. So that's going to be valuable experience for On Point. Yeah, even though it didn't look as strong for them through this entire series, they could take a lot of stuff out of this. They could come back next time. They did look just playing against tougher teams, and it's great to see them come out here, just do the best they can against ex more experienced teams yeah. and should take that into the future. And a, lot of them, positive. and a lot of them, I think, is their first or second, I think, land. So this is, this you know, as long as they take it as a positive learning experience, I think they are. They're having a lot of fun. Um, I guess now it's, it's a good time to... 
I think it's a, you know, it's like halftime switching sides, as you would say, yeah. <laughs> God for, uh, oh, sorry, Call of Duty. But so Group A is finished, as we told the results. Group B will be happening after a lunch break. We should be jo- uh, we should be rejoined by Anthony, or neighbor, as well as Vector. I do have to take a bit of a lunch break. Before we do go to the lunch break, I would like to thank our sponsors, Logitech for providing prizes. Uh, Shopping Express for uh, providing MVP prizes, which I'll be showing in a moment, uh, as well as awarding them to the players that we believe are the MVPs. Um, what else is that? Ah, uh, yes. We like to thank Gigabyte for providing NUC PCs, as well as a lot of, you know, supporting the esports community. It's so crucial. Without sponsors, we wouldn't be here at the moment. And, of course, Defrag TV. And just a big shout-out to Mav for all the help he is. Mav just being an absolutely amazing person. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to wrap up that game. So now it's just down to the MVPs. Yeah, who, so the MVP like prize. So far? This is the prize that we've got. This is the prize. So it's a Daedalus Prime Mouse from Logitech. A big thanks to Shopping Express. We do have two of the sponsors out here at the moment from Shopping Express. If you're in Sydney, you're free on a Sunday. I know you're free on a Sunday. Everybody is. Unless that. you're a cheater yeah. that no one likes. Like Dan NZ. I'm sorry, Dan NZ. We've tried reforming. It didn't really work. Come down and say hi at the Legends Cafe. We're just underneath the Joy Street Cinemas. You should all know where that is. Come in and say hi. They've got a demonstration of some Logitech products. They got it on a massive discount. I was seeing like, you know, a $90 mouse for $45. That's yeah. an absolutely ridiculous deal, you know. In case your old mouse is, you know, crusty, oily because, you know, you've been eating chips and trying to play Counter-Strike at the same time. You've used it for, you know, three or four years. You need a new mouse. You know, come down and take a look. At, uh, look, they've got a demonstration of the keyboards. They look absolutely sick. It's like a Chroma keyboard, but for half the price, really. Yeah, well, I also saw the Orion keyboard as well. The Logitech G910 Orion keyboard down from 300 to 150. That's, That's actually a That's a great deal. mechanical keyboard. I use it myself, and it is something that I love using myself all the way through on all, all the uh, PCs that I use. Definitely. I take it with me everywhere I go. <laughs> It's definitely good. I mean, I think retail, I've seen it for 200 so 150 is an absolute steal. They do have a limited stock. If you are interested, feel free to come down. But that's from us now. Uh, we've been jumping the lunch break. Should be maybe about, I think, half an hour to hour to the other, for the other players to set up. But don't go, uh, you know, leave your afternoon open as well as the evening. Group B is going to be absolutely amazing. We've got the finalists from last time, Houseway, as well as um, Save Boys. They're going to be coming back. Possibly, they're going to be duking out in the group stage. It's going to be absolutely amazing. As well as Rectum and Gameplex. They're going to want something as well. You know, we expect things out of them as well. Last time, they probably didn't perform as well as they did. They want to prove themselves as well. But for now, I'm Karath. Joined by Vector. So we'll see you very soon for the next match. It's coming Peace up. Peace out.